How's everyone doing? I have a Jandy uh, saltwater system and uh, it's showing no flow on the little yellow light and then I called Jandy technical support that wasn't very supportive they told me to call my um, my local pool company they couldn't help me they told me to call Jandy so it was just a runaround so I decided uh, went online and checked and the cell and there is water flow you see there is water flow in the cell so there's nothing wrong with the water flow I already cleaned the filter so what I decided to do was uh, I went online check the cell that I think that's what's wrong it's $350 and uh, I wasn't sure was it so I called back the pool company and I asked them um, how much would they do a service call so they told me it was $50 to come check the system so I said you know what I'm pretty good handy let me try to do it myself and try to save the money so I'm gonna show you what I did all right well first of all you gotta go ahead and uh, shut off the system you know you don't want to get shocked and make sure the jandy goes off so you see there it, it went off I'm sure there's no power cuz that's 220 so you grab your tool you come here you disconnect this it's pretty easy you disconnect this uh, you take you take the cell off you're gonna see the water going out okay now this is something that I discovered on my own because I figured you know what what's the worst can happen it doesn't work I have to spend uh, the money so okay you come here you go you get a flat screwdriver okay you stick it in the corner here because this little thing comes off okay enemies fix the camera okay hold on you're watching my phone there okay um, and I noticed okay I noticed I, that the cells are pretty easy they, they kind of come out they just slide out except for the cells come out let me see what's going on so the cells basically they're just pieces of metal I think it's stainless steel but this is what I noticed that I noticed that the negative cell was worn out I guess it's supposed to look like this but I guess the electricity kind of ate it so I decided to take a chance and if you look inside there's a little probe right there so I said you know what let me try to do something so I got a, one of the good ones from the other side these two doesn't come off so I grabbed this one I said you know what let me see if it fits let me put it in there so I decided you know what I have to I'm gonna make a groove so I got my cutting tool okay I went inside and I kind of you know drew with a screwdriver more or less what I was gonna make the oops the groove right there so I said you know what I'm gonna cut this so I went and cut it so I cut it I cut the metal piece to look like that okay and I noticed this looks like stainless steel it's just I guess the water corroses it you know makes it look old I guess um so I made sure that it fit I put it in the right slot ah, let me see okay put a nice slot but I noticed when I try to put the plastic piece uh, this little thing kind of bumped it so I went and go ahead and made two little grooves now what I did was I put everything back oops I remember I'm not a pool guy I'm just I guess good handy wise make sure it fell in the groove made the two little things now I put the other plates back okay put the plates back that I think for the future I'm just gonna get pieces of stainless steel and make my own cell I mean little plates not cell I'm sorry so I put everything back I put everything back now I even I put the bad one 
in because I don't have another piece of stainless steel. Because I think the electricity, the way it works, the electricity jumps around in there and I guess it activates the, the, the chlorine. So I went and go ahead, I put it back, all the cells back in the groove. I guess some are getting pretty bad. This system is about three and a half years old. They say the cell's supposed to last from three to five. I guess I got shorted. <laughs> okay, so, oh, another thing, make sure you put the little clip back. You put the clip back right into place. Okay, everything is back to normal. Now, this is what I thought. If it doesn't work, I didn't do anything. If it does work, I saved myself $350 for the cell and $50 for the um, service call. So, let me see how it works. You gotta make sure you stick the little thing back in the in the slot there. Put it back. Put your electricity. Make sure you put red with red. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Nope, this goes first. The actual... Where is the, the nut? I'm sorry. Remember, I'm not a pool guy. I'm just decided to do this, see if it worked. Okay, make sure you place it. Make sure that the thread doesn't go in sideways. Because if it does, the water starts leaking. So, I double check. Okay, I put the nut back in. Not super tight, just snug, I guess. Now, you go ahead back and put the electricity. Remember everything, make sure everything is off. You don't get shocked. Okay. Here we go. Now, hopefully everything works. And if it worked, I just saved myself $400. So, we'll see what happens. Let me turn the system on. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, it has water in the cell. Um, okay, the filter, let me get the air out of the filter. Okay, I'm taking the air out. Well, at least I'm noticing the system is working. Always saying check salt, okay. Oh, oh, there it goes. The air is out of the filter. Now, no more no flow the little yellow light so I'm guessing everything is back to normal so I just saved myself $400 do it yourself you could try it uh, just make sure you turn the electricity off and like I said I'm not a pool guy I just decided to take a chance and see if it worked so it worked so if it helped me maybe it can help you good luck